What's up, everybody? This is sorry back when they reaction y'all from the Fat Man's podcast. I got another reaction for y'all. But before before we get in this reaction, y'all, I want to say thank y'all for the 700 subscribers, y'all. I believe we're at 710. So that means thank y'all. You know what I mean? I thought we were gonna hit it by the end of this week, but so we hit it by we hit it by uh this morning, actually. This morning, early this morning. So I wanna say thank y'all. So we on our way to a thousand, y'all. Uh, so let's try to get let's try to get eight hundred. This let's try to get eight hundred by end of this month, and let's try to get two hundred by end of next month. You know what I mean? We only need three month three hundred more to go. Three hundred and no two hundred and ninety more to go, y'all. So we'll see if we can hit it, y'all. I want to say thank y'all for real, for real. Um, but yeah, let's get in this reaction, y'all. So before we get into it, please hit that like button and subscribe. I'm trying to hit 800 subscribe by the end of this month. So please do share with your family, friends, whoever you see. It was getting here. So it's some Fox News. Tucker Carlson, MSNBC, open, open race hate should worry you deeply. So I guess, so I was watching a black conservative, right? And I guess this video he was watching this video and I guess this lady uh Tiffany Tiffany Cross, you know that I said you know Tiffany's my mom's name, but you know. Uh Tiffany Cross no, it's not like her last name is not cr uh cross, but I guess she said some race racial racial stuff and I didn't really watch it. I know I know she got fired from uh MSBM SNBC. I never really watched that channel, so I, that, I'm not saying it right. I never. Um, so she got fired, I guess, a couple of days ago or today. I, I'm not for sure. And he's watching like a, a another black woman on there. They said they go together and all that stuff. We're we're real sisters and stuff. But I wanted to watch the original video of what he was he had posted and I got the original link right here. So I was like, shoot, why why not just watch it with y'all and want to put my commentary to it. So let's get up in here, y'all. I didn't watch the full video of uh, black conservative though. I really didn't. But I do watch him though. He's he's interesting. All right, y'all, let's, let's get up in here, y'all. Carlson, tonight, in July of 1993, a radio station in Kilgali, Rwanda, began openly attacking one of the country's main ethnic groups, the Tutsis. The radio station was called RTLM, but many remember it as simply Hutu Radio because its audience was primarily Hutu. According to Hutu Radio, Tutsi people were responsible for virtually every bad thing that ever happened in Rwanda. Tutsis had way too much money they had way too much power. Tutsis were way too privileged. They were greedy. They were bigoted. They were racists. They were dangerous. Everything about Tutsiness was repulsive. For the most part, actual Tutsis in Rwanda ignored all of this. Hutu radio was not aimed at them. But then, in July of 1994, just nine months after RTLM went on the air, a genocide began in Rwanda. More than half a million Tutsis were murdered, in many cases by Hutus, whose rage had been stoked to violence by RTLM's broadcasts. Entire Tutsi families were dragged from their homes and hacked to death with machetes. Hundreds of thousands of women were raped. The world watched in horror as it happened, but did nothing to intervene. Instead, our leaders told us at the time, the genocide in Rwanda would live forever as a lesson to the rest of us about the capacity for evil that lurks inside every human heart and the dangers of reducing our neighbors to the sum total of their ethnicity. They're individuals, not ethnic groups. Bill Clinton gave an eloquent speech actually on the subject in Kilgali back in 1998. Look it up and ask yourself as you read it, if any Democratic Party official could today say those same words. It's hard to imagine given what plays on a loop on that party's cable news arm, MSNBC. Have you watched MSNBC lately? Likely you haven't. Like the Tootsies, you're not the target audience, but you should tune in sometime. It's remarkable. Given that opposing racism is America's national religion, it may surprise you to learn that open race hate forms much of the substance of that channel's programming. And when we say race hate, we're not referring to the subtle coded variety. You want border security? 
You're giving your kids piano lessons? You like Shakespeare? You believe in the SAT? You must be a racist. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about the kind of race hate you cannot mistake for anything else. The kind where people just come out and announce, I hate this race of people, and here's why I do. It's hard to believe that anything like that is happening right now on American television, but it is, out in the open. And the most amazing and the most creepy part of all is that no one is saying anything about it. It's all but ignored. And honestly, we had no idea it was going on either until we started getting texts from people. Are you watching this? Can you believe this? So we tuned in. Apparently on the left, what you're about to see is considered completely normal, even good. And that should worry you deeply. You don't want to live in Rwanda. But on MSNBC, they're already there. Now, you probably knew about Joy Reid, the race lady who's been fixated on race hate for years now. But MSNBC has a new host, someone called Tiffany Cross, who hosts a show called The Cross Connection. Here's a selection. Many of us have seen the day. Okay, yeah, before we get into this, uh, I want to come to, so I, 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 I really don't understand. So is Rwanda a different kind of ethnic group than the Tutsis? And then the Rwanda people went over to kill all the Tutsi people? Uh, I, I'm not, I'm confused on that. Y'all tell me in the comments, because I'm, I'm trying to understand. Um, Y'all probably more more than me, because I, I really, I don't understand. So is Rwanda like the uh, people, or is that like a country or something? Then the Tutsis are like a, I don't know. I don't know. Y'all tell me in the comments, though. Dangerous when powerful white people decide they want something, they annex it. And they've never had a problem replacing the people who stand in their way. We see American white people are, are going crazy. They're going, they're resorting to violence. This is literally what conservative white folks do when they don't get their way. They turn violent. White people deputizing themselves in some position of authority to have jurisdiction over their life when they need to mind their blanking business. I don't think it's our responsibility to be tasked with destroying and dismantling the uh, racial oppression that's against us. That's just saying we're more at fault than the white people who constructed this system and the white people who continue to practice institutional racism. A majority of white people do not support policies that would unpack and unroll and reform this system of justice. This is what they want. Matt Gates is giving the white folks what they want. White replacement can strangle culture. So yes, we should all be concerned about white replacement. It is, after all, a very threat to our survival here. Is there anything worse than white people? They're violent, they're heartless, they're cruel, they're deranged, they're secretive, they're dishonest. In fact, as you just heard Tiffany Cross say, white people are a mortal danger to you and your loved ones. They threaten your life. Are they poisoning the wells? Are they baking bread with the blood of your children? If not, according to Tiffany Cross and MSNBC, they're fully capable of doing those things. They've certainly done worse. This is Hutu Radio. But it's not an independent radio station in an African country. It's part of one of the biggest news organizations in the world, part of the biggest telecommunications company in the United States, Comcast, which owns it. So you have to ask yourself, what does Comcast board think of this? Comcast board is mostly white people, white people who, according to the channel they own, decided they wanted something, then they annexed it. White people who steal because they're white. White people who could, quote, turn to violence when they don't get their way. White people are going crazy, endangering their communities. So you have to ask yourself, why are they putting this on the air? Why are they allowing this? This is not a policy debate. These are open attacks on people, on Americans, on the basis purely of their race. And that's just a selection. We could go on and on and on. Are they aware that this is happening? Perhaps they're not. We weren't, to be fair. But it is happening day after day after day after day. And at a certain point, you have to ask yourself, if it continues and nobody stops it, do they agree with it? Maybe they do. And just in case you think that we are taking Tiffany Cross out of context and pulling the worst quotes from a out of context segment to make her seem crazy and racist, here's more. Here's Tiffany Cross at MSNBC. Look, a lot of folks in that capital insurrection. Hold on, y'all, because I, I want, I want, I want to like pause because I, 
I want to comment on what she was saying. This lady is a, what you call, a race prosperity person, which is, which I call BLM people. They made money off of black folk, black folk, because they keep on saying this damn oppression, which people believe for some reason, which I, I, I really don't understand, which they are on a national televised show, probably making around a couple million dollars. The one with the afro, I've seen him before. He probably multi-millionaire. Nice afro though. Who else is on there? I know she make a couple of million. Uh, okay, what else? Let me see who else was on there. Now this lady right here with the braid, she had a point. If you really believe it, it's on y'all if you st if you want you want to keep on going. Me personally, I don't see it. I don't think anybody's holding me back. Like I said before, I can do what the fuck I want to do. I'm sorry for my language, but I really can. Does it mean I won't have any consequence to it? But I can mostly do what the hell I want to do. These are just people that just want to get money out of black folks pocket. And they keep on telling black folks that white people are the worst, the most thing that the most dangerous people in the whole entire world. If we really want to go by, if all colored people went against white people, we most likely would win. But we are just so divided, we don't see that. Now I'm so, I, I'm I'm just saying I think we should go all to integrate all together, but I'm just saying. It's just it's, it's these people. I don't like these kind of people. She's on a t national televised show, and she's talking about they were oppressing her when she's on national televised TV show. What are you talking about? And you probably making millions of dollars off this show. Please stop it. Please stop it. All right, let's go back up in here, y'all. Please, please stop it. Don't believe, black people, don't believe in all this. Uh, that white man, the most worstest thing in the world. We really need to focus on our community before we can focus on white people, which I don't see the point into. But, you know what I mean? Getting, getting, I don't know, if you want to do all this, go get up and get up on your, um, run for governor, run for mayor, stuff, all that kind of stuff. If you really believe all this stuff. All right, y'all, let's get back up in here. Some of these folks were white women. And I know we're talking a lot about in that. Here's more. Here's Tiffany Cross at MSNBC. Look, a lot of folks in that Capitol insurrection, some of these folks were white women. And I know we're talking a lot about Oath Keepers and Proud Boys, but I do think that some of the white women who adopted it, have adopted this ideology, is America ready to face the fact that some of those folks look like people they have elevated and put on a pedestal of being untouchable. What do you say about this wing of, of white women who have been radicalized and are enablers to this very dangerous domestic terrorism movement that we've seen increase quite rapidly? So it's not just whites, it's white women. Their women are bad too. And women, of course, are the key to reproducing the white race, which is clearly a threat, as she says again and again, to you and your family. They're dangerous. They want to hurt you. Now, don't be fooled by the fact that Tiffany Cross can barely speak a coherent sentence. She was a communications major, apparently, according to the internet. That didn't work. But the gist of it is very, very clear. White women are dangerous because white people are dangerous. They are, by the nature of their DNA, potential domestic terrorists. Now, you could play the game, well, if any other group were spoken about this way, this would be shut down immediately. And, of course, that's completely true. There's no other group in America you could talk about the way that Tiffany Cross and Joy Reid and other anchors on MSNBC talk about white people. 
But you don't even have to play that game. It doesn't matter what the color is. It's always wrong to reduce people to the color of their skin, to their melanin content, to their DNA, and it's even worse to attack them on the basis of that. And in fact, it's the basis of violence, actual violence, actual violence. But Tiffany Cross can't be criticized because she's oppressed. That's the key. Watch this. What we didn't see were enough voices willing to point out the deeper, festering rot that's plagued this nation since it was born. People who neither discovered nor built this land have been led to believe that America is theirs and theirs alone. Will this democracy survive? Well, a Yahoo News poll says no. But perhaps when you build a nation on stolen land with stolen labor, it was never going to be a republic we could keep. And so here we are, celebrating the birth of a nation, independence for white men. Okay, once again, calling out a specific race by name. Now you have to wonder about the other anchors on MSNBC, MSNBC some of whom are that race. Do they notice this? Do they know what's happening on their channel? Are they okay with this? What do you think happens if we continue to talk this way? You may not watch that channel, but some people do. What does this look like in a year or five years or 10 years? What kind of country do you live in? Well, a country at war with itself, race war. This woman, Tiffany Cross, whose clips you've been watching, is so deranged by a racialist worldview that she believes all people of one color are oppressed by all people of another color. And to prove it, she says, even NFL players some of the richest people in our society, some of the most celebrated, the most famous, the most privileged, even they can't escape the all-pervasive hatred of diabolical whites. Watch this. I got to say, Mike, the... Hold on, y'all. Uh, I, I, I know I'm pausing, y'all, but th 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 this is really different. Um... I don't know where she got all erratic, all white women are erratic, I guess. I, 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 I don't, I, <laughs> I don't know why she said that. I mean, me personally, I, I, I don't really care about what women, you know what I mean? This is, this is, this is what I don't understand. Okay. She's a, she's a double minority, right? She's a black woman. She is no. She's a black woman, a woman. Now this is just what they go off sometimes. A black woman, a woman, and and uh and uh well no, that's double yeah. A black woman and a woman, and she's over here saying where well, she is rich as hell, saying all this other. Asinine stuff that's irritating the hell out of me. I I don't see the you know what I mean. If white women go go if they want to have they if they want to have their white babies, there's nothing wrong with that. Just like black just like black women want to have their black babies, nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with keeping your keeping keeping your your race. You know what I mean. Your melon your uh your 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 color. There's nothing wrong with that. I don't see the point. I mean, and if you want to go out and you know. Interracial marriages, there's nothing wrong with that either. I don't see the, I mean, that's why she got fired. She be saying, <laughs> yeah, she's, she's crazy. Let me see what she's talking about now. Optics just look bad. To see all these black men crashing into each other with a bunch of white owners, white coaches, and the complete disregard of black bodies and black life. I mean, it just represents a larger issue. She doesn't know what she's talking about. She ain't never played in the NFL. She never played football. Shut up. NFL people had the best doctors on the best doctors on the on the speed dial. That's how they go Mayo Clinic and all the other stuff. The bet the the NFL players go to the best doctors. Just because they don't know how to control their, just you know, just because they don't know how to manage their money, that's not that's not the white people's fault. Making millions of dollars, thousand dollars, over thousands of dollars. Most NFL players make over like a hundred thousand dollars, two hundred thousand dollars. She doesn't know what she's talking about. Shut up! God damn, she don't know what she's talking about. 
So, I mean, look, the average salary for an NFL player is more than $2 million a year. 60% of NFL players are African Americans. In some positions, like cornerback, virtually all the first string players are black. So, okay, we don't have a problem with that. Most people don't have a problem with that. But if you look at that picture and say, this is white supremacy, what are you really saying? You're saying that anybody involved in the sport who is white defiles the sport because whiteness is itself inherently corrupting. White people are so evil that their mere presence in a sport that is overwhelmingly African-American and from which African-American individuals are benefiting is enough to destroy the whole operation because there are whites involved. What kind of talk is that? Well, it's genocidal talk, actually. Not an overstatement. That's exactly what it is. So again, you have to wonder, what does Comcast board think of this? It's not a rhetorical question, really, now that we're talking about sports, because Comcast also owns an NHL team, a hockey team, the Philadelphia Flyers. And maybe not surprisingly, the NHL just published its first ever diversity report. And according to that report, we have a huge problem with hockey. And the problem is there are too many white people in hockey. Now, why is that a problem? No one actually explains. It doesn't need to be explained because it's just prima facie obvious. We've got a lot of white people. That's inherently bad because white people are inherently bad. Again, do you want to live in a country where powerful people talk this way? What do you think it looks like in five years? The head of the NHL's, quote, social impact division said, quote, we have a lot of work to do. Hmm. Again, how does Comcast board feel about this? Will the board undergo some kind of forced diversification? What about the NBA and the NFL? Admittedly, we're not following all of this, but as Joy Reid and Tiffany Cross tell us, that's probably because we're white and too stupid to understand. I think for Kamala Harris, she's had like the triple problem of being a woman, and so people not being willing to respect her the way they would respect a male vice president, of being black, which we already know that the, what that carries with it is the anti-blackness comes you know, with the package, and then also being vice president at a time that is really, really difficult. Joy and I talk about this all the time. Madam Vice President, and you know this, Charlene, she black black. Okay, yes. she went to Howard, she AK, and when she talks to you, yeah. it is, I mean, she sounds so like regular. Me. She's so regular she and really approachable, is. and I just, it's unfortunate that more people don't, don't see, see that. It. And there's also just the dumbing down of the American electorate. We could go on and on. We could read excerpts from Tiffany Cross's book, which are brimming with racial hostility. We could play you a million clips from Joy Reid, which are exactly the same, filled with open racial hostility. But you get the point. And if you don't believe us, just go ahead and tune into MSNBC. But it's not really about that channel or those hosts. It's about a society that thinks that's okay. Where it's not really about diversity, it's about hating other people on the basis of their race. And it's a little bewildering to the rest of us who thought the whole point of, of America was that we're aspiring to a country where we are judged by the content of our character, not the color of our skin. And all of a sudden, racial reductionists don't simply have the floor and the platform on cable news shows, but have apparently the unquestioning support of the biggest telecommunications company in the United States. What does that say about the country and its leadership? Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube. Yeah, that's crazy what she just said. Um, I really never heard of anything. Like, me personally, I really have never seen Kamala Harris say anything. That is most like, uh, I guess, intelligent. I should say. Uh, you got you got dementia, Joe Biden. You got man. I can't wait till that man get out the office. Uh, but I, I I don't I don't know what to, I don't know what to tell y'all. These ladies are just. I don't know what to tell you. I'm sorry. They they believe that they're oppressed, and that's okay. I guess. Um, if that's what you want, if that's what you want to believe, that's okay. Um, uh, I, I they're talking about genocide for some reason. I I guess they want to take out the right race. I guess. Me personally, I go off a of character. I don't care if you're white, black, blue, whoever, Mexican. I don't know. I don't know what other colors there is. I, I really don't care. As long as you good people, as long as you, you know, you take care of your family. You, you know, what I mean, I'm, I'm more like, you know, I'm, I'm more like people. I go off people's character. You know what I mean? Like they do bad stuff that ain't for me. You know what I mean? Everybody, everybody in the whole wide world got evil in them and good in them, and that's really what I go by. Go off of.
You know what I mean? Most people have evil. Most people have good getting them, and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, I don't know what these ladies are doing. I think that's why she got fired. She was saying some racial, racial stuff because if a white man said it, it he would got canceled and all that other stuff. Even on what, uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. All right, y'all. That's the end of the video, y'all. I don't know what to tell y'all. Y'all tell me in the comments, y'all think. Please hit that like button and subscribe. But I'm trying, I'm trying to hit 800 subscribe by the end of this month, y'all. We're at 7 710, I believe so. So yeah, y'all. Uh, that uh, please share this video with everybody. You see your family, friends, whoever you see. Just tell them to subscribe to the Fat Man's Podcast, y'all. And I'll see you guys on next one. Oh, signs out for the Fat Man's Podcast, y'all. Peace out, y'all. Thank you.